Creating a seamless user experience with online forms can greatly benefit your website, especially when users can check their details in real time as they fill out each field. Lots of organizations use this functionality. It's efficient, it looks cool, and is incredibly easy using pure HTML and CSS. In fact, the functionality takes just two lines of code. Let's start by creating a form and inserting just one text field. There's our form field. Let's put in a simple directive like first name and let's also wrap the field in paragraph tags for this example. So this is where we'd like the user to type in their first name. Now, let's create a separate div that will duplicate what the user types into the field. We'll call this class confirmation, give it a yellow background, a max width of 450 pixels and padding of 20 pixels. Let's add this confirmation div to our HTML example. We want our user's inputs collected and reflected in this div. So the next step is to create another form field within this div. Right now we just have two basic input text fields. To create our functionality, first let's give the user's input field an ID and call it first name. Next, Let's give the confirming text field an ID, and this one, we'll call it confirm first name. Right now, both have IDs, but still behave as independent basic text fields. Now for the fun part. In step one, in the user's input field, create an attribute called onInput equals open close quotation marks. Next, copy the confirming field's ID into the quote marks and add dot value to the end. Make that equal to the ID value of the user's input field, that is, firstname.value. If this seems confusing, don't worry. I'll explain it in more detail shortly. For step two, simply add the attribute readOnly to the confirming field. The readOnly attribute prevents the field from being manually edited directly. The only way to change the confirming field's value now is to edit the user's input field above. And that's it, it's that easy. Let's add another user input field to once again review the process. We'll copy paste the first user input field and call it last name. We will also change its ID to last name. As you might have guessed, we simply copy paste the confirmation field and give it a new ID as well. We'll call this confirm last name. Now let's make confirm last name dot value equal last name dot value. So we now have two user input fields and two uneditable confirming fields. We can add as many fields as we need and inputs of all sorts. Let's add a third set of fields. This time we'll use numbers. So change the input type from text to number. Give it an ID of my tell. Remember to copy paste the confirming field and change its ID to confirm my tell. Update the on input attribute with the correct ID names. And that's all there is to it. You can see the number functionality is copied just as easily from the user's input field to its corresponding confirming field. This works across all input types, from date selections to range sliders. We don't want the confirming fields to look like fields, so we can use some simple CSS to make the confirming fields look permanent and uneditable. Simply target the input fields contained within the confirmation div. Set the appearance property to none and add your browser fallbacks. Now the inputs are ready to accept standard CSS styling. Let's remove the borders and the background. Now when anyone enters data, the information comes up seamlessly in the confirming box. You can style your confirming box in any way you like to make it appear robust and reassuring. You can see this form has been more heavily styled, but the core functionality is identical to our example. Remember, for the user's input field, you need an ID and the onInput attribute, which matches the user's input to the confirming field. For the confirming field, which collects the inputted data, all you need is the read-only attribute to prevent direct editing. Remember also to give it an ID. 
I've included the code snippet for this nicer looking form in the comment section. Feel free to adapt the code to your own projects and have fun showing your users their inputted data in real time. If you have any questions, please ask. Keep coding and CSS you next time.